Hey everyone, I am Dikshita Kamri and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to see how to use Rapid API in React. So let's get started. So before going to the practical, how we are going to use Rapid API in React, we uh, let me show you the blog that I have written on how to use Rapid API in React. So this is the blog. Uh, you just have to go free freeguidex.blogspot.com uh, where you will find this blog uh, and I will also mention the link in the description so you can find there so we will refer this uh, while seeing the complete tutorial in this article first of all I have mentioned what is rapid API so rapid API as you can see over here is the largest API marketplace and is used by over 3 million developers uh, to connect thousands of APIs all with a single account uh, so if you want to know more about uh, what is rap rapid API so just click over this rapid API I have hyperlinked this so you will find what is rapid API and you can read all the read the document so you will get to know what is rapid API so back to our blog where I have written further steps so first step is you need to visit the rapidapi.com so and you need to sign up like uh, in all other websites you sign up and then login the same you have to do it uh, on a rapidapi.com uh, i have already signed up so i will not sign up here again so first of all uh, in the second, first step that I have written that you need to visit the rapidapi.com then you need to sign up then uh, the API that we are going to use uh, in this tutorial is as you can see over here uh, car data API I have also linked here uh, car data API you can use uh, whichever API you can you want like uh, you can choose food food nutrition okay you can see over here receive food nutrition then edema nutrition analysis uh, there are lots of apis you can find over here so the api which we are going to use is car data api so if i click over here and so this is the car data api of rapid api from rapid api collection so we are going to use this so what next step is given after selecting api so once you select the car data api you need to subscribe to test and select a free plan so since i have already used this uh, you can see this image when you sign up and select the car data api you will find a subscribe to test button okay you will find a subscribe to test button over here and once you click on that subscribe to test button it will show the result sorry it will redirect to the uh, plans of uh, rapid apis that is uh, pricing then you need to select the free plan and after that it will read uh, you will see this button test endpoint so after the first step we will see the second step which is given over here the, my folder structure so let's go to visual studio code okay let's see over here only. So first of all, uh, you need to create a React app using the npx create react app and then you need to mention the folder name using this command. So after that you can see, you will see the folder structure like this and inside that I have just added a assets folder uh, inside which uh, I will, you can keep your images. Then inside the source folder, I have created one more folder named components and inside that I have create, created these four files that is data table.js, footer.js, header and table.js. 
and uh, okay and all other files are uh, same uh, that is when you create a react app using command npx create react app so if you want to know more you can visit my github repository i will also add my github repository in description or you can refer from my blog also so let me show you first how my application looks like so i have run the application here so this is so this is the home page which i have created with the uh, similar uh, front end technologies like html css bootstrap so the header and footer are the same but only the thing is this is the table and the data is from the car data api so i have not written manually i have just added the api and the data came from that api so we are going to see this uh, functionality in this video and for header and footer you can refer my uh, github repository so we'll not see the header and put the next is step 3 so in step 3 what we are going to do is we are going to create as i have mentioned in the folder structure we are going to create a table data table.js file and table.js file so let's start you need to create a data table dot js file uh, as i have already said that uh, you can create header and footer of your own choice then you need to create a data table dot js file so now let's see the code inside the table dot js file first of all you need to add the boilerplate so here is our boilerplate code boilerplate code i have created a table table dot js file and then created a table class then inside the table dot data table dot js file also i have added the same boilerplate code uh, and i have given the class name as data table so step 3 uh, first we have created table dot js and data table dot js file the next what we need to do is install axios using the command that is npm install axios and if you are using and then you can simply use and add x so i have already installed the module so i will not uh, install it further you can refer this and install it so in step 4 what we are going to do is we are going to add more code in table.js file so it will show some functionality so for before doing that we need to go to the rapid api website and as you can see over here test endpoint so when you click on test endpoint it will show you the result as you can see over here so now click on code snippet and click on drop down and then select your node js and axios so and then click on copy code we have copied the code so let's move to the table.js file so now first of all we will import the axios and import axios from axios okay and now we will use the component did mount method so so whenever our page will start rendering it will call this uh, method so let's start component did mount and inside that just and inside that just copy the code since we have already imported axios so cut this line remove the first line and let me align it properly that's it so we have added the component and we have pasted the code so the code is nothing but uh, 
in which we, uh, as you can see the method is mentioned which is get method that is we need to collect the data from the API and so that so that's why the URL is mentioned uh, so that Axios can request through that URL and get the data and so we can display that data in our website so in order to display the data and uh, as we see we are going to display the data in tabular form so we need to create a data table component and in that table let me add the so this is our code so this is nothing much but this is the structure of table as, as you can see I have added a row table row tag and inside that I have added the columns and I have just mentioned the props object dot id props object dot year we will see what it is actually so for now just save it and we will move back to table dot js file ok so now I have added the constructor and pass props through it so now you will get uh, how the prop how your props is come here in data table dot js and I have also added the state uh, with user collection element and I have given it as the value uh, as the empty array so next we'll add the table structure that is the the table that we will see in the bit so let's take a look at our website so it's showing some error that data table is not a function so I think okay first of all let me show you explain you this code then we'll resolve that error so uh, this is nothing but the simple UI that uh, you see uh, sometime before so this is the container in which I have added the table this is the header table head table head so id your make model these are the table heads then I have added this this dot data table so I, I haven't mentioned this I, I haven't declared this before or I, I haven't imported it from the data table dot js file so let's go so I have added the data table function where you can see I have uh, the use the user collection to map the data ok let's first import the data table so import the data table from okay, so it's imported manually automatically so now that we have imported data table so let's map the data so whatever the data uh, we will get uh, it will get stored in user collection state as we have uh, first of all initially we have given it as an empty array then the data will get stored in that empty array so we will map that data using this state and I have passed the parameters as data and i for for index so, so next is uh, next I have written the data table and object as data and key as r so that's why you can see here the props.object.id you can see how it has came so it has came from here and the next I have mentioned uh, I have used this data table function here to map the data I have added the data table so I hope the error has gone now okay, yes you can see the page as we seen before let's refresh it okay, okay so it's take some time but it loads and now you can see the data you can see over here all the data from the rapid api so this way you can add uh, any type of data i have used your car data api you can use any type of data and you can display it in your application so this was about the how we can add rapid api in our react applications i hope uh, you got all the points and how we added the uh, api or how we use the api uh, if you have any doubt you can comment uh, you can 
add that doubt in comment section and if you like the video then please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching